Ferrari has the F80, McLaren has the W1, but where is Porsche's next hypercar? The Mission X concept wowed us with electric promises and Le Mans inspired looks, but something's off. With hypercar buyers snatching up hybrid models and leaving electric hypercars on showroom floors, is Porsche facing the wrong direction? The clock is ticking, millions of dollars are on the line, and Porsche executives are dropping hints that have the automotive world buzzing. Are we witnessing a high-stakes U-turn in the making? Let's find out. 1,700 horsepower, 0-60 in under 2 seconds, a Nürburgring record in its sights. The Porsche Mission X promises numbers that defy physics, but there's just one problem. It's all electric in a world where hypercar buyers are still craving the scream of an engine. With Ferrari and McLaren unleashing hybrid beasts, Porsche finds itself at a crossroads. Stick with the electric future or make a dramatic last-minute switch to save its place in the hypercar holy trinity. This is everything we know so far about the Porsche Mission X. Just everyone's dream. The Porsche Mission X burst onto the scene in June 2023 as part of Porsche's 75th anniversary celebrations. This jaw-dropping concept wasn't just some designer's fantasy. Engineers had been secretly working on it under the codename XS23 for nearly a year before its reveal. The Mission X is meant to be the next chapter in Porsche's legendary hypercar lineage, following in the footsteps of icons like the 959, the screaming V10 Carrera GT and the hybrid 918 Spider. But this time, Porsche decided to go all-in on electric power. The concept features stunning Le Mans-style doors that open forwards and upwards, a clear nod to Porsche's racing heritage. Its glass bubble cockpit and sculpted body create a silhouette that's unmistakably hypercar yet distinctly Porsche. What makes the Mission X truly special is its E-Core configuration. Unlike most EVs that stuff batteries into the floor, the Mission X places them behind the seats, mimicking the handling balance of a mid-engine car. It's a radical approach to EV design that shows Porsche isn't just electrifying a car, they're trying to preserve that magical mid-engine feel that made their previous hypercars so special. But with Ferrari and McLaren sticking with hybrid power for their new flagship models, Porsche suddenly finds itself standing alone at the EV altar, wondering if it showed up to the wrong wedding. Let's talk targets, because Porsche didn't hold back when outlining what the Mission X aims to achieve. And trust me, these aren't your average performance goals. First up, Porsche wants the Mission X to be the fastest road-legal car around the Nürburgring Nordschleife. That means beating the current record holder, the Mercedes-AMG 1, which clocked a mind-bending 6 minutes 29.09 seconds. Not just content with track dominance, Porsche is targeting a power-to-weight ratio of 1 horsepower per kilogram. If the Mission X weighs around 1,700 kilograms, like the 918 Spider did, we could be looking at a hypercar with a staggering 1,700 horsepower. That's enough power to make fighter jets jealous. Aerodynamically, it needs to generate more downforce than the current 911 GT3 RS, one of the most track-focused 911s ever made. We're talking about well over 860 kilograms of downforce, pushing this thing into the tarmac at high speeds. And finally, thanks to its 900-volt architecture, it should charge twice as quickly as the Taycan Turbo S. These targets aren't just ambitious, they're pushing the absolute boundaries of what's currently possible with EV technology. But here's where it gets tricky. The world of high-end hypercars isn't just about raw numbers, it's about emotion, sound and soul. And that's exactly where Ferrari and McLaren decided to hedge their bets with hybrid systems rather than full electric power. The elephant in the room is that the hypercar market seems to be giving electric power the cold shoulder. Ferrari's F80 uses a twin-turbo V6 hybrid setup, while McLaren's W1 packs a hybrid V8. Both companies clearly decided that pure electric power just wouldn't cut it for their flagship models, and they might be onto something. 
2024 was a tricky year for EVs. Sales had slowed down and enthusiasm cooled off, especially at the high end. Even CEO Med Rimac, the EV hypercar pioneer, is seeing this firsthand. His Rimac Nevera, an all-electric hypercar with nearly 2,000 horsepower, still has allocations available despite breaking speed records left and right. Meanwhile, Bugatti, now under Rimac's leadership, revealed the Tourbillon with its naturally aspirated V16 hybrid powertrain. All 250 units sold out instantly. That's a market signal Porsche can't ignore. When you're spending millions on a hypercar, raw performance isn't enough. You can get sub 2 second 0 to 60 times from a Tesla Model S plate at a tiny fraction of the price. What people are willing to pay millions for is the complete experience, the sound, the vibration, the connection to the mechanical engineering at its finest. And that's where an all electric Mission X might struggle to compete with its hybrid rivals from Ferrari and McLaren. The question isn't whether the Mission X can be fast, it absolutely will be but whether that's enough to earn it a place in the hypercar holy trinity. Now, here's where things get really interesting. Porsche has been tight-lipped about the Mission X's production timeline, but rumors point to 2027 or 2028, several years after the Ferrari F80 and McLaren W1 will be in customers' garages. That gives Porsche something precious. Time to reconsider. And there are signs that's exactly what they might be doing. Michael Maurer, Porsche's global design chief, recently dropped a bombshell when asked about the Mission X's powertrain. He said, The really challenging part right now with this is, will it be an EV? Is it a hybrid? What is it? That's a surprising admission from a company that unveiled the Mission X as a pure electric concept. But Maurer didn't stop there. He added, Porsche, from my point of view, has never been really tied to one technical solution. I think Porsche always has a good understanding of using the best solution for the time in order to create the best car. That's about as close as a car company executive gets to saying, we might change our minds without actually saying it. Even more telling, Porsche CFO Lutz Mischke recently announced that Porsche could develop combustion engines for models that were originally meant to be electric, responding to changing market demands. Could the Mission X be one of those models? Its proportions are already perfect for a mid-mounted engine, and if there's one company with the engineering prowess to make such a dramatic powertrain switch, it's Porsche. So where does all this leave us? The Mission X is still officially a concept car. Porsche has said a decision on whether to put it into production will be made by the end of 2025, with potential production starting in 2027. That's a long wait for hypercar enthusiasts, but it gives Porsche plenty of time to read the room and adjust accordingly. What's clear is that the hypercar landscape has changed dramatically since the Mission X was first conceived. Ferrari and McLaren have laid their cards on the table with hybrid powertrains, not full electric ones. The market has sent clear signals about where hypercar buyers' preferences lie, and Porsche executives are now openly questioning what powertrain is right for their next halo car. Whether the Mission X arrives as a pure electric marvel or with some form of combustion engine on board, one thing is certain, Porsche won't release it until it's confident it can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best from Ferrari and McLaren. The holy trinity of hypercars demands nothing less than perfection, regardless of what's powering the wheels. For now, all we can do is wait and see if Porsche sticks to its electric guns or makes a dramatic U-turn. Either way, the hypercar world will be watching closely. If you don't want to miss any updates, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.